In this lesson, we go playing in some clouds. Right, so do we need any aileron, do you think? Mm, maybe a tiny bit, it's not yeah. much in it though. Right, 2000. These are bees in the green, release brakes, full power. Get a right rudder. These bees in the green. Put a turn of a Viaki back where I found her. It's on the corner here, uh, Richard, whatever is more convenient. She's flying again at 11. Okay. Right, so we're going
brake, just hold on to this damn Yeah, you just try and relax. Let me just do a couple of fingers. You get what we call the leans. Yeah, I really did then, that's weird. <laughs> I was looking at that thinking, that's, that's different to what I'm feeling. Yes, <laughs> that's why we're in the clouds, because when you're not in the clouds with your hood on, you yeah. can still see things yeah. outside and it keeps your brain happy. That was really weird. But when you're really in the clouds, you can quite easily get the leans, and then it's horrible because you, you know you've got to trust that, but you just don't want to. Yeah. I was, I was really thinking, hang on, this, that's weird. <laughs> that's really strange, Alan. <laughs> I was looking at that, it was just conflicting with what I was feeling. It was very odd, very odd. I'm glad, actually I'm glad that happened. We like it when that happens, because it proves to you What you've actually got to be doing when you're flying on instruments is trusting that and not your instincts. Okay, if you turn right on to say one seven zero maybe? Might take us back into cloud. Oh, he's back on. Altimeter 
so I'll leave it as is. Back to 170. Right, 110. Oh. Six zero, Rich, come on. Right, 110. There's one. Head down. Don't look at the clouds. <laughs> Turn off the nav one. 
Copy, back onto COM1 now, do you? Yeah, just switch off the NAV1. That's what he's saying. saying. Oh, yeah. right, okay. So now we've identified it, so you can say that's set to um, the right beacon. The flag is away, so we are receiving. Okay. Right, so that's in the middle, so it's from the west. Okay, so we're on the 265 radial. People take. Time's about right to me. This good. So, if I were to tell you that Compton yeah, is on, I can't remember the radial, let me just look it up. We want to get ourselves on the 273 radio, so we'll set 273 on there. Yeah. And basically, we fly north until the needle comes to the middle. Ah, right. And then we're on the correct radio. Now, Compton is at 30... Uh, one miles from the beacon. So we'll fly immediately onto the radio, then we'll look at our distance on the DME and decide which way, which way we've got to go. Roger that. Back to the north west, back to the north. So basically we're at right angles to the radio that we want at the moment. Makes that move quicker. Right, OK. Alright, so the radio is that, we're doing that, are we? Yeah, we're, so the radio, so here's Southampton. Yeah. We want to be on the 273 radio, which is basically the one that points left. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're coming up here because we're on the 26 something radio initially. So once so we hit it, we turn into it. We turn, well, we've got to decide whether we're turning right or left then. Right, okay. Because Compton is at 31 miles, or whatever it was, from the beacon. Yeah, 31 miles. So we can have a quick look now. Um, we're actually 35 miles from the beacon. Oh, okay. Clever. So you've got the 
same frequency dialed up there as we've got in here. Okay, so the DME shows you your distance from that beacon, which is 35 miles. Um, so when we get onto the radial, we're going to be too far away from the beacon, if you see what I mean, so we'll need to fly towards it. I see. Okay, so we're going to be turning right when that comes to the middle. You see, it's starting to move now. So when we get, that goes in the middle, we turn to 273, do we? So what was the radial again? Uh, the radial was... Uh, That's a problem, isn't it? So you yeah, it's a problem, so you need to do a 2, so you just get it so that you've got it the other way around.
Multiple bearings again. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Phil's staying there. Then we'll do a nice descending turn over the airfield now, to the right. Okay. And then just give them a call, get the airfield information. Got a radio, uh, Gulf Spotted Gear Alpha Whiskey, uh, requesting airfield information. Off, hatching the harnesses are secure. 
the final source. Roger, surface winds uh, westerly uh, back to Knox. Copter Radio, good morning, Golf. Hi, Channel Lambda Golf Echo, Hangar 3, request radio check air for the information, please. Golf, Golf Echo, good morning, uh, readability 5, it's runway 26 for the right hand circuit, QNH 1008. 26 right 1008, and strength 5, also Golf, Golf Echo. trees. turns you were doing. I mean that was so steep. I would never have done that. Thing. It's fine. Cool. Right. I'm going to do the paperwork and I'll see you inside. See you inside. Hope you liked the video and if you did please hit the like button. Even better hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you next time. <laughs>